Hey, everybody. Hey, I had a question the other day in the uh, private Laughing Bird software group, and it was a great question, and I've spent a couple of hours trying to figure it out, and I finally figured it out, and I want to show you what I did. The question was, how do we overlap one letter over another and create some kind of a, an overlap in the letters? Okay, so here's what I did. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a P and an M for our example on our canvas. And we're going to find a font, any font that we might want to use, and we're going to scale it. Now, if we try to set the character spacing, it kind of works, but it merges and morphs into one gigantic letter. So that's not the solution. So here's what I'm going to do going to center this and for now we just want to put the edge of the P into the letter M. Let's make it another color. Let's do uh, red for example because we want the P to be white and since we're going to be using a white letter on a white background we probably want to make the canvas some color that we can see. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to focus on the letter P. Okay we want to make the P overlap the M so first thing we're going to do is get rid of the M because we don't want to focus on that right now and we're going to just have the P, okay? And we're gonna make the P white because his picture had the white overlap in the M. So we go to color and solid and make it white. Then we simply go up here to the file menu and we're going to export this as a transparent PNG image. Okay, it saves it on our, onto our desktop. Now we don't need this P anymore. Let's change it back to the letter M and we're going to make this M red. Okay, now here's here's a trick. We're going to duplicate this. We have to duplicate it and I'll show you why in a minute, but first let's duplicate it. So, under edit, we're going to put we're going to uh, select duplicate selected element. So, we have two M. So, let's move one M off to the side and we're going to focus on this M. Okay, now if we select our letter, we can drag this P right over the letter M. And it's all funky looking, so let's move it over. So you notice it's, it's a transparent image, and it's erasing the letter M. That's why I had to make a duplicate. We're going to make it right about here, I guess. Okay. And we're going to, let's bring this M down. Okay, now let's bring this P over here, and well, we got to put the M to the back. So options, move to back, and now here's our P. It's right smack there, perfect. And now we can take this letter M and duplicate it again. Edit, duplicate, and now we're going to change this letter M into, what do you think, the letter P. Boom, and we're going to send this to the very back so that when we squish it over to about here, watch this magic trick. Ta-da! Perfect. Except the P's smaller, but nah, you can work on that. Okay, now the final thing we're going to do is export this whole thing as a final transparent PNG. Okay, now we can delete this, delete this, delete this, and import our transparent image import again there it is ta-da and now we can put a drop shadow on it I mean we can shrink it if we want to we can put a shadow on it and if we wanted to we can bring in a, an orb or something so let's import something that I had on my desktop earlier purple orb there it is send it to the very back and let's shrink this big purple orb because it's really big. Bring the canvas back to white if we want to. And there is our very cool logo that we can make even smaller. And then he has the word news underneath his here, see? So that's a trick that I'm sure you can figure out. We're gonna go find a uh, another object like a banner up here maybe, and we'll find something that's similar let's just for the heck of it let's just grab this one bring it down and type in the word news and ta-da pm news and if we don't want the purple and 
we can make this any color we want to. And there is our excellent logo that's pretty doggone close to his wish of having the PM News there. And there we go. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that.